So this is a description of how to perform a double osteotomy at the proximal tibia. This technique was first described by Dr. Konstantin Novikov and elaborated by Dr. Walid Miki. So this is a description of how to perform a proximal tibial corticotomy using a double approach technique. At first, a small 1 cm incision is made over the anterolateral aspect of the proximal tibia and using elevator the periosteum is elevated. A small diameter 3.2 mm drill bit is introduced performing drilling in a forward, upward and downward directions. It is important that the surgeon not to approach the medullary canal as we aim to preserve the medullary vessels. Then an osteotom is introduced along the line made by the bit holes and each time the hammer and the osteotom is directed in the same directions of the drill bit. Another small 1 cm incision is made over the anteromedial aspect of the proximal tibia, opposing to the previous one, performing drilling in a forward, upward and downward directions. An osteotome is then introduced and the bone is cut in the same directions. So this is an interoperative photography of the distal fibular osteotomy, which is an important step before performing the proximal tibial osteotomy. This is marking at the osteotomy site on the anterolateral and anteromedial aspects of the proximal tibia. A 1 cm skin incision made by scalpel over the anterolateral aspect. Drilling in different directions as mentioned previously. Using the hammer and osteotome to cut the bone from the lateral side and then drilling from the anteromedial side and then cutting bone by osteotome from the anteromedial side in the same directions made by the drill bit holes. Please note that we perform the proximal tibial osteotomy after fixing the whole frame. The rods between the proximal and middle rings are disconnected to perform the osteotomy. At this stage, you may feel the bone fragments are separated. If you are not satisfied, then you can do an osteoclasis, in which the surgeon and his assistant doing rotatory movements in opposing directions. Once osteotomy is completed, the proximal and distal frame parts are connected together. The advantage of this technique is that it takes less time to perform and result in less cortical damage that may occur during a single approach osteotomy, especially the posterior cortex.